Welcome to our channel. Girls Volleyball Reloaded Mater Day faces tough task for title repeat. If recent history is any indication, the Mater Day High Girls Volleyball team will have a tough task defending its Southern Section Division I crown this season. No team has repeated as Division I champion since the Monarchs won back-to-back -back titles in 2017 and 2018. In order to make history again, the Monarchs have to replace five starters from last year's squad that finished 43-2 and won the State Division I title. It will depend on how much we improve by the end of the year, Coach Dan O'Dell said. Section Player of the Year Isabel Clark now at the University of San Diego, Julia Kakis Brown, Melissa Kala Stanford, Samara Gordon Michigan, and Tessa Hurley graduated. But the Monarchs will still be formidable once junior USC commit. Laylee Ostovar returns to the lineup she has been sidelined because of a shoulder injury and fellow outside hitter Wesley Matavao, a sophomore transfer from Orange Lutheran, becomes eligible. Ostovar's senior sister Sitter Ava and Libero Kedela are also back and sophomore Emma Kingston will be a force in the middle. After opening the season with four victories to stretch its winning streak to 28 dating to last September, Mater Day was dealt consecutive losses by Redondo Union and Tory Pines. Longtime Redondo Union coach Tommy Chaffins likened the Bay League this season to that of the Trinity League in football. We may have three of the top ten teams in the state us. Mira Costa and PV Palos Verdes and Torrance is really, really strong too, he said. We're going to sharpen each other up, and we'll see how it plays out come playoffs. In addition to sweeping Mater Day on August 27, the Seahawks have beaten Mira Costa, Aulani Hawaii, and Long Beach Poli in tournament action, paced by junior hitter Abby Zimmerman, an early commit to California, senior setter and Captain Bella Jones, San Diego State commit, UC Irvine bound middle Taylor Boyce, and Florida State Beach commits Avery and Addison Junk. Redondo won the last of its three Division I titles in 2019 and looks to improve on its 26-14 record last year, when it lost to Orange Leatherin in the Division II semifinals. Nira Costa might have the most talent of any program in the Southland, starting with junior outside hitter Audrey Flanagan, who led the Mustangs Beach team to the title last spring and paced the United States U-19 national team to gold at the Continental Championships in Honduras in July, pounding 14 kills in the finals against Canada. The Wisconsin commit is joined by USC-bound senior libero Taylor Deckard and setter Millie McGee. Outside hitters K.N. Seaman, Lauren Becker, and Simone Roslin, and middle Kendall Herman. The Mustangs lost to Mater Day in the Division I championship match last season and despite the graduation of captain and all CIF setter Charlie Fearbringer, they are off to a fast start with wins against Marymount, Torrey Pines, Palace for Days, Elani, Orange Leatherin, and Harvard Westlake. Palace Verdes reached the division I state finals last fall behind Stanford bound senior hitter Cassie DeMaria and senior co captains Mallory and Molly Lebrecht who together won the Southern Section Girls Beach Volleyball Pairs Championship in the spring. Mallory, a setter and opposite hitter, is headed to UCLA while Molly, a libero defensive specialist, is going to Louisiana State. Huntington Beach raced to a 9-0 start behind Stanford-bound middle Taylor Ponchak and hitter libero Olivia Foy, who is committed to play at Princeton. The Oilers are seeking their first title since 1996 and might have the firepower to get it for coach and alumnus Craig Pizzanti. Also out of the blocks quickly with eight straight wins was Sierra Canyon, the Division I section champion two years ago. Leading the way are rising sophomore setter Lucky Fasavalu, junior hitter Madeline Zaragoza, and senior co-captains Brandy Boston and Lauren Lynch. Mary Mount made the state open division bracket one year ago and returns all-around leader Ryan Gilhooley and all-CIF outside hitter Samantha Destler. The Sailors finished undefeated en route to section and state titles in 2021, and they always play one of the hardest schedules around. They have already defeated Redondo Union 
and La Costa Canyon in best of five matches. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.